all right guys i i got too antsy and i'm out doing a little looking around i'm down by where i go to college today i got to get my truck looked at down here just get it checked out before season make sure everything's working right because the last thing i need is to break down during season but i just had to check a couple spots just just to see what's going on and how they're doing and i just pulled up to this one and it's getting me pretty pumped up it's uh i mean it's kind of just two pastures together but it's more of a timber to like a pond ish location if you will so i'm going to show you guys kind of what this trail is looking at this is a trail i'll probably take oh last year i think i took five or six off of it so it's a pretty good spot and the trail's already starting to develop on both sides of the road so i'll get out and show you guys kind of what's going on so as we come over here you can kind of see if i get out of there you can see it's going right here and it's going underneath that grass in there guys that's how you know it's a raccoon going through there it's tunneling underneath that grass but the other side makes makes this side look pretty weak i'll go over to the other side here now right here you guys can see that there's kind of a dip in the road bed right there and then they're going down through that grass in there i pull away a little bit of that grass they're going down there to that little i don't even know what that is some kind of culvert and then there's there's a pond up in there that they're going to but yeah guys this is getting me pumped up hopefully i can Hopefully I can go find some other spots that are showing some pretty good trails. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can find, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm at another location, probably 200 yards or so away where I was just at. That's how close together I like my stuff. I like it really close together if I can. But I got another trail that's kind of coming down here. I'll show you guys. This one's very faint. Um, you guys can see right in there where that grass is kind of slicked over like that and there's a little bit of moisture on that grass it's going to be kind of hard to tell i don't know if the camera will pick up that or not but this is going down there's a little pond down there not even a pond it's just basically a puddle but there's just a little puddle down there and this this is where these coons are coming over top of this and as they're coming from the other side they're getting wet on the other side and coming down and pushing this grass over and their belly is leaving moisture on this grass so very faint guys but that just goes to show you the trails are starting to develop a little bit that's kind of how you can tell early but i'm gonna take you guys over to the very next stop i got here because i got these two stops are within like i don't even know 50 yards probably not even i'm gonna drive right up here i'm actually really excited for this location this year last year it was beans and i took four or five coon out of it and this year we got corn so definitely got high anticipation for this and we're here already i'm gonna get out here and show you guys this this spot's really good if i can get over here see if they got anything going oh it's gonna be kind of hard to tell it's overgrown see if i can't get down here without breaking my neck to show you guys this i'm also not in waders or anything by any means but i'll try and get down here for you guys kind of show you okay so this is a prime example so we're really dry here in iowa and this is a prime example so if you guys can see this it's all overgrown in here and there's a little stream underneath all this grass well if i can get this stuff pulled back a little bit which i don't know if i can or not maybe i can get the camera through right here if you guys can see down in here i don't know how this is going to turn out if you guys can see down in there come on grass if you guys can see down in there there's a little funnel where these coon they're going through the tube there and there's a little funnel right here now there's not many tracks down there because they're walking right through that water but this is a prime example of a very good 220 location right underneath all that grass and everything you just some of some of these locations guys when it's really dry like it is here you got to get down there and get really hands-on with them to see exactly where they're going but anyways guys we're going to be moving on to the next one man guys it's dry down here um i go to college about 70 or 80 miles from where i actually live and it's crazy what a little bit of a difference like that can make in an area we're actually we got decent moisture 
where I live now. I mean, it's not great by any means, but compared to last year when it was really dry, this year we got quite a bit more moisture. But anyways, I, I kind of wanted to show you guys this this location here. This is another it's another hidden one, but I'm really excited for this one this year. It was beans last year, and I didn't trap it at all. But we got big, huge timber right here. And then if we go across the road, I actually lost a pair of dog proofs not too far from here last year they redid one of these low spots that they had in corn and with that excavator went a couple of my dog crews so i wasn't too pumped about that but it is what it is if you guys can see this there's a tube down here culvert and there's just a highway underneath of there you guys can I don't even know if I can get down there any better to show you guys. But it's really, this one's really hidden as well because there's no water. But they come in here, then they come up, they climb up right here, there's a little ledge, and they're going underneath all of this grass right here. I hope that comes out good. That's a perfect little fur funnel right there. Yeah, guys. I really wish I could set 220s in here. Unfortunately, I'm too close to a house. But yeah, great location nonetheless. Just your typical big timber going to a cornfield. That's what I like to see on the next one. All right, guys, we're at, a, we're at another one here. This one looks really good too. This is another one, it was beans last year. Now it's in corn and I'm really pumped for this one with this trail and how it already looks. But a lot of people be like, you know, all it is is basically a field entrance. And a lot of people be like, well, grass is cut. Even if they're going through there, you know, they're not funneled down at all. But if we go to the other side of the road, there's this big timber finger and it runs down to a big timber and a bottom down below and i actually kind of struggled to find this trail but i found it you guys can see that right there that's a tunnel going down there and it's down to the dirt too that gets me jacked up guys that's awesome and i am far enough away from a house to set a 220 so that's even better but anyways guys on to the next one all right guys we're at another location here um i actually didn't know how well the sign was going to be over here because we got a cornfield over here and then there's beans right here but the corn's right next to the timber so i didn't know if they'd be crossing or not but there's kind of a trail going into the culvert over here i got out and looked at the other side first and boy oh boy Let's see if i can find it again doo, 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 doo. oh here it is you guys can see that right there they're just barreling down through there and let's see i'll go i'll go down in here i guess and then you got you guys can see that just a beat down path coming out of that tube and going up underneath all that stuff and up into that cornfield there so yeah kind of interesting i never trapped this spot before i'm just kind of looking around trying to expand my line a little bit and that looks pretty good so we might have to put that one on the map all right guys i kind of just found this neat little spot here there's not timber within 150 yards 200 yards of this but it goes to a cornfield right here and i came down we got a culvert coming through the road right underneath of there and i came down here and looked looked around a little bit if you guys can see that little tunnel down in there that is a highway it goes all over the place underneath this grass guys but once again sometimes you just got to get hands on with these suckers and really get down in there and look because a low spot like that especially going to corn with any timber near it there's probably some raccoon in the area so anyways guys we'll keep moving all right guys here's another prime example of what i'm looking for in a raccoon trapping location right here so I got a gateway on the other side of the road that opens up and there's a little strip of timber that kind of runs all the way to it and if you really get down and look you can see right here they kind of got a little path worn in through the grass there but if you get over here you can really start to tell where they're going and you can tell that it's raccoons too because they're going up underneath of this grass right here so there could be some deer using this too but for the most part definitely a small game trail with how the grass is sitting over top of this trail so there's just a way for you guys to kind of know 
on gate openings like that because deer will use them a lot too but if there's a gate opening like that leading to a cornfield and there's timber there's more than likely i shouldn't say more than likely usually there will be a deer trail and some sort of small game trail and you want to trap that small game trail that's what you're looking for the deer trail will be a big open like foot foot and a half wide just mud path going to the field but those little tiny trails just weaving through the grass those are your raccoon and your other small game animals so anyways guys i gotta get on the road let's go all right guys i just found a prime example of what i was trying to show you guys with those deer trails and how different they are than a small game trail so here you go this right here this mud trail really wide i mean if i put my arm arm down in here you know you see it's probably like a foot wide that is a deer trail they're jumping over this fence right here you can tell that's a deer trail now if you come over let's see where was it right here you can see in the sand right there if you can pick that up but you got coon tracks everywhere and where are they going right up underneath in here they're going up through there guys this is a coon trail and it's a really good one too but you can see how if i'm just to let that go you can hardly even see that but with that deer trail it stuck out when i was standing away through this tall vegetation those raccoons are going underneath of it and that is how you can tell the difference from a raccoon trail and a deer trail just like that anyways guys just thought i had to stop and show you guys that that was the prime example that i was looking for to show you guys the difference so anyways guys moving on you guys i'm getting fired up oh my gosh some of these trails that i'm finding are just crazy already i think it's because it's so dry but i'll go across the road here and show you guys this trail that i just found coming up over the top of this culvert here i haven't even looked down in the culvert i just looked at above it here but if you can see oh my shadow's in the way they got the bank notched out right there on the road they're going down in there they got that nice mud path going down it comes down and kind of joins up with a little deer trail there and goes into the timber <sighs> is it season yet guys because i'm really ready come on moving on guys all right guys that's probably going to be a wrap for today's video um I better stop looking at trails i'm getting a little too excited i think but one thing i do want to point out is the trails i was showing you guys is just i mean that's just the tip of the iceberg of the trails that i saw today however there are some trails that i saw today that was from corn to corn with no real timber in the general area which makes me really believe in something i just learned really not too long ago is that when you're in the summer transitioning into fall like this right now and you still have a bunch of standing corn you're still going to have coon living in these cornfields they'll just nestle up and lay down in them cornfields and they they won't leave it i mean they they don't have to everything they needs in that cornfield so they'll just kind of live in there that's why you'll this time of year you might see some small trails that are just kind of random in the middle of nowhere and you're like well that's kind of odd i wouldn't think you'd catch a coon there well, that's because they're living in the cornfields guys and once season rolls around and they start taking the corn out and it starts cooling off that's when they'll start pushing more towards your creek and timber locations and that's when they'll really get locked into small little areas that you can really capitalize on some numbers on if you know what to look for and if you know how to set it up correctly so anyways guys i'm getting pumped i i hope you guys got as pumped watching watching this video as i did because i'm jacked up man i'm ready to go so anyways guys take care i'll see you on the next one